Here he comes to fuck my day. Okay, okay. Holy shit! Oh, you mother goddamn cocksucker! Just one more fucking. Seriously? Dodge that? Oh, nope, we didn't dodge that. Screw this world. Hey Hyaniacs! I hope everyone had a great, awesome, and spectacular 4th of July weekend. Uh, mine was pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Took some, finally was able to take some downtime to myself. Uh, my brother, you know, he started getting into magic, so, you know, I started digging into a bit, and at this point, I am pretty fucking thoroughly addicted. Um, I now understand why people call it cardboard crack. But, um, well, when I first started, you know, I was a little hesitant. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to make, like, a full on fucking financial obligation to it. Because it's been, you know, I haven't played, like, a trading card game since Yu Gi Oh! when that was, you know, when it first became a thing. Holy shit! How about you fuckers just calm the fuck down? I'm trying to tell a story here. Anyways, so, you know, yeah, when last time I played, like, a trading card game was, like, when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out when I was, like, 10 or 11, back in, like, 2000, 2001, something like that. So, yeah, it took me a minute to really, you know, wrap my mind around to be like, okay, I'll try it out. So, what I did was I found a game of it on Steam called Magic Duels, and it's... You know, it's free to play. You know, you don't got to pay anything. Um, you can make, you know, in-game purchases for decks and stuff like that. But personally, I think that's pointless. Because you can unlock cards and you can get in-game currency to, uh, you know, get them and shit. But anyways, so... I started playing it on there and it was just... It honestly brought me back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, when you skim down the basics, they're almost identical. Let's see. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Okay. Come on. So he's dead. Just had to poke him a few times, show him a little love. And I think I just got a new weapon off him. Let me double check. Painting Guardian? No, I think I already had that. Because if I remember correctly, you're supposed to get like a scythe off of that guy. Ooh, a notched whip. Maybe that's what it is. Well, either way. That's at least some extra souls for you if you decide to kill him. Um, I'm not going to go back down to that cellar area I went to last time. Just, I mean, there's a key down there you can get, and it unlocks like an extra part of the world here. So you can, you know, there's some more stuff you can get, but just not worry about it. Anyways, as I was saying about magic, how it basically brought me back to Yu-Gi-Oh, how they're basically the same when you break them down to the basics, although both of them do also get more convoluted and complicated and they you know, they have their own unique twists and variations. Oh shit, no, I gotta go down to that cellar because there's a thing I gotta activate to open that door so that way I can get to the boss. So, we will do that. So, since I'm down here, I might as well... Oh, shit! I thought he was going to come from the other way. Fuck. Oh, 
fucking asshole. Oh, hi there. Okay, anyways, so. Brought me back to my childhood, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! You know. Um, so, if you're familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, or even the Pokemon card game, you can start up on Magic pretty easily. Otherwise, again, um, I would look up getting, you know, if you're interested in trying it out, you can get Magic Duels on Steam, and if you end up liking it, you know, who knows? Maybe if I love you enough, we can play together. Alright, here he comes to fuck my day. Okay, okay, holy shit! Straight up, dude. Oh, fuck. Let's see. I don't even think I have any regular humanity left. So I don't need that. So, Okay, I do have one. And I'll use it because I'm pretty sure from the boss I'm going to end up fighting. I do get twin humanities, so. God damn, it just hurts coming off a strong weekend and then fucking having that happen. Especially since, you know, fucking dude. Okay, so after I started playing, you know, the magic game on Steam, you know, I was doing really good on it, which, you know, duh, because they really baby step you with the fucking tutorial. But then once I decided I really liked it, really wanted to dig more into it, I go to, um, you know, one of my sponsors, Level Up Games. Because, again, they have magic tournaments there, like, all the fucking time. They got a big-ass room for it. And so they got a lot of decks and all this stuff. So I go there, you know, they see that I'm getting interested in the investment with it. And they're like, well, be careful, you know, because, A, it's addicting as hell. And, B, um, you'll, you'll die a lot. You know, they, they straight told me, you know, be prepared to lose pretty much constantly within your first year of playing. And it's like, okay, the first time someone told that to me, or the last time I heard that, I should say, was when I first picked up on the Soul series a few years ago. And I pretty much had the exact same reaction then as when I picked up on Magic, and that's, you know, whatever, dude. You don't know me. I'm, I'm the Grandmaster Champion of everything. I'm fucking Master of the Universe. Alright, cool. So at least that one's dead. Just, this is like my biggest reason for hating this place, though. He's got these fuckers just... Over okay, so that's the key I was talking about that you can use. The Annex key. Annex. Alright, now I gotta find the Illusionary Wall. To the large open area where I believe I died before. I can't remember if I died or if I just left. Which, either way, that's the area I gotta be in order to... Okay, so that's shortcut. Anyways, in order to activate the switch so I can open the gate to get to the boss. And here it is. Huzzah! Oh, shit. There just had to be two right fucking there. Had to be. Oh, you mother goddamn Oh, this is just painful. I need more coffee. Give me one second here, guys. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I picked up on magic and then of course, you know, yesterday I had to enjoy all the explosions, you know, set off fireworks, went and saw fireworks, good old American beer, some home style grilling. Shit. There we go. Might as well keep my Estus ready. Oh, well, that was necessary. Thanks, asshole. So, you know, yeah, that was my 4th of July weekend. Now I'm back making videos, and for those that have been asking about Borderlands, I do plan on getting back to it, so if you're not, I'm probably going to end up doing that after this episode. Alright, where's the other one? Unless he's just not here. Oh, there's my souls. opening and get wrecked. And that's not it. Right. Okay. There we go, that's one down. And it doesn't look like the other one's aggro. Oh yes he is. And die. There we go. There's gonna be like four more I think. Or it could be two more. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly how many are down here. 
just know that there is quite a few. And right there is the switch I need to activate. Oh, there's one. Oh, seriously? Fucking pussy. I'm going to hurt myself within my own attack. Because logic. Trying to be sneaky. That was a beautiful pose there for a moment. <laughs> I don't know if you guys really got that. Alright, there's another. God. Yep, there it is. Check that shit out. Fucking beautiful, dude. They're like fucking Pamela Anderson before all the STDs. And how many plastic fucking surgeries? You're right now. Pick this up. Not necessarily trying to let my guard down too much. Cause I don't fucking trust this game and or anything in it. That will take us back up to a different part. Now we want to activate this. Turn the handle. Yay, cutscene of things happening, I don't care. Now we go this way. Back to where we came from. Oh. How did I miss you? Where are you? There we go. Oh, I get it. It's another way down here. So there's like... Nope. Not dealing with that. Either way, so there's like three ways to get in here. Ooh. Let's see what that's like. Giant wooden wheel encircled by spikes. Can be used as a great shield only for the great gaps. But at least the spikes turn into weapons with a good spin. Okay, well. Maybe I'll give that a try a little later, but I'm just gonna stick to what I'm using for right now. Fuck. I just need to find that goddamn ladder. I feel so lost, and scared, and alone, and confused, and alone, and scared. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. Oh shit! What y'all doing here? Alright. Nope, not getting gang fucked right now. I refuse. But I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a crow around here. Question is, do I wanna wait for it? Ah, fuck it. We'll just go forward. Well, this is gonna be another area if I recall correctly. There's like dudes hanging off the ledges and shit. So I mean you can get swarmed here pretty fucking easily because there's dudes that will just climb up and attack you. Oh! And there's dudes hiding! Oh thank god that arrow went right through me. Excuse you. Asshole. Oh shit. I need to not let my guard down. Yep, here they come. So let's switch to fire. We will use that fire. Take some of them out. Because I, I I can deal with two. That's fine. But when more of these more than that of these dudes come at you, it turns into a fucking me what the hell? Jesus. Okay. I need a moment. I'm gonna try and get that archer without aggroing the fucking knight. Or, or do I want to do it the other way around? Fuck you. Okay, so. I think I'm just gonna try and lure the knight down. Come on. 
There we go. Got his attention. But um, but um, ow. No, 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 fucking arrow. I don't know why I was getting upset and scared about the arrow, but not this big ass motherfucker coming at me. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Let's dive back a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'll do the same thing. Bottoms up, asshole. Just one more fucking seriously. I will try it again and I will fucking succeed. You watch. Hey, welcome back to Death Row, motherfuckers. But at least I don't gotta go down to the fucking uh basement or whatever the fuck it was. I mean, at least that shit's taken care of and done with and over. All I gotta do is run across here and I'll be fine. And there's my souls. Well, I mean, at least I put it back near the start of the bridge. At least before anything serious goes down. So that's nice. Excuse the fuck out of you, sir. Oop, he missed. This dude will jump out. Nope, he's not. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where you were. Sure heard all the lies I just told about you. Okay, seriously? That's just fucking ridiculous. No, nor normal arrow mean you do nothing. Make her bad. Stagger. Stagger like Britney Spears. Alright. Alright, now here we go. Fucking seriously. Okay. Okay. It's amazing because this is like one of my absolute favorite levels in the entire fucking Soul series, but it is 98% bullshit. But I have like that same kind of <laughs> mixed feelings with World 4 of uh, Demon Souls as well, if you guys remember correctly. Oh, I'm out of his aggro range, cool. Alright, at least him being dead. I'll make fighting this dude a little bit easier. I wonder if I can get a headshot. Nope. I don't even think I'm close enough to actually hit him right now. No? Oh. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? Okay, dodge that. Dodge that? Oh, nope, we didn't dodge that. It's official. You suck. Yeah, just gonna fucking skip forward. Alright guys, so we got this squirt off. As you can see, they actually put my my souls up a little bit more. They wanted to make it more of a challenge. Because, you know, pissing me off is just the way to do it. So, come on. Let's do this, big boy. Oh shit. Fucking myself over. It's all I do. It's all I'm good at. So, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna dodge that. Cause I'm a pro. All those times you killed me, those were just flukes. Okay. Let's not get backed up into a little area. But we will kill him. That's all that matters. All yeah, y'all didn't see me die, that didn't happen. I just ran straight through all this perfectly. Okay? Okay. Glad we're all in agreement there. So now, this boss fight is actually going to be extra fucking annoying because, if I remember correctly, she's actually invisible until you do enough damage on her and then she turns visible yet again. But, being that I am a classy man, I will greet her properly. Boobies! Yeah, she doesn't have a cutscene, but she has dialogue. I'm Johnny. Johnny I Quest. Oh yeah, I'll plunge you with my plank, alright. 
Van de Zack. Okay, and as you, some of you may not know, she's actually a furry. So, and she's actually like an optional boss. Like you don't even have to fight her to clear this. You can actually go right back there and just leave the level. But didn't go through all this for nothing. Yeah, so she turns invisible, but they have snow here, so you can actually see where she steps. Oh, hello. Where are you? Where are you? Get over here. There we go. And you can cut off her tail, but I think she's actually like the trickiest to do that with. But we'll try it. Hold still. Come on, just come here. There we go, I did it! Got Priscilla's dagger. Oh shit. Got all the swagger from the dagger. And she is dead. Because I'm an asshole, I'll admit it. I'm a dick. I'm pretty much anti relationship for, you know, anyone. Alright, so got that done. Cool. We did it. Um, got some of the ugliest clothing in the whole game, too. Alright, guys, so <laughs> that's definitely going to do it for this episode. Um, going to take me a short break here, start on Borderlands, and then I'll start editing these and put them up for your viewing pleasure. I love you, Mahaniacs. Screw this world. Ah!